I'm Mark Istook here in Allen this morning as the sun is rising over the city. You can see over my shoulder the flags are flying half staff at all the city facilities today in honor of the eight people who lost their lives to a mass shooting at the Allen Premium Outlets one year ago today. Joining us this morning yet again is Deanna Easley from Life Path Systems and their Center for Healing. You guys have spent the last year trying to help people recover from that shooting, focusing on mental health. And we talked in the last hour about how it's not just people who were there on the scene that day that were affected. People in this area hearing this news, they were affected as well. How should someone, when should someone know that, you know what, maybe we should come pay you guys a visit? Well, I mean, honestly, like you said, there's been a ton of people who have been affected. You uh, if you weren't there and you saw images that day, um, there were a lot of people who handed an iPad to their kiddo and then those kiddos were exposed to those images. There weren't, um, there wasn't anything that was kind of blurred over at that point. So you still could have been affected by it if you weren't, were not present. Um, so we want to make sure that those people, our tertiary mm -hmm. victims as well, are able to access services. When you look at the numbers, according to the Gun Violence Archive, 656 mass shootings in the United States last year, 146 so far this year. What do you tell people who are concerned about the never-ending trauma of gun violence and the fact that it just does not seem to stop? Well, it makes sense for people to feel incredibly ill at ease um, in situations like this. What we're seeing with Nashville, what we're seeing with Allen, is that income is not a barrier to trauma, right? So we've had 40 million Americans in the last 10 years who have lived within a mile of a mass shooting event. So you're going to feel the effects of that. Um, but it's the job of Life Path Systems and other centers like ours to just try to provide that hope and that resiliency to communities. We've been doing that for 37 years. We're going to continue to do that. Um, and that's really what the Center for Healing is all about, is to provide a faith in the future and hope restoration. For people who'd like to find more information, Deanna, where do they look? They're going to go to the centerforhealing.org. Okay, appreciate your time this morning and also the work you guys have done over the past year and beyond uh, helping people uh, deal with positive mental health outcomes.